standard EE4A is about setting up and solving equations. EE4B is about inequalities, so all of these are about solving equations and inequalities. Looking at number one, select all equations that are equivalent to the given equation. So we got a couple ways we could do this. <clears throat> one is we could solve every one of these equations and find out which ones are the same. I'm going to go ahead and start by solving this equation. 1 fifth times 20x minus 35 equal 9. We could change 1 fifth to a terminating decimal 0 0.2 just to make our calculations a little simpler. And so I'm going to distribute or multiply 0.2 by each term. So 0.2 times 20x is 4x. 0.2 times negative 35 is negative 7. And this is equal to 9. Notice that we actually have that equation right here, answer choice C. So I know it's equivalent. I could also go through and continue solving this and add 7 to both sides. And we find that 4x is equal to 16. Notice that that is answer choice D. So we have that in our list. I could finish solving. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 and get that x is equal to 4. So all of these, we're looking to see if they have a solution of x equal 4. This top one, I could divide both sides by 4, and I get x equal 0.5. So that's not true. I'm going to skip the second for a moment, but on this last choice, I could divide both sides by 15, and I get that x is equal to 3. So that one's not true. Now looking at this choice B, I noticed something, and you could just solve the equation <clears throat> for x and see it, um, if you get x is 4. But what I want to notice is that if I go ahead and stay with 1 fifth times 20x minus 35 in the parenthesis equal 9, I could get rid of my fraction 1 fifth by multiplying by its reciprocal. Well, its reciprocal is 5, 5 over 1, which is just 5, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So I'm keeping this equivalent by doing the same thing to the left and right side. 1 fifth times 5 will cancel out, and we get 20x minus 35 on the left side. And then 9 times 5 is 45. Notice that this is answer choice B. Number seven, Carl bought a lawn tractor using the store's payment plan. He made a $430 down payment and makes monthly payments of $82. If the total cost is $1,906, for how many months will Carl be paying for the tractor? Write an equation and solve. So I notice he is paying, uh, making a down payment of $430. He pays that one time plus He's making monthly payments of $82. He's doing that for every month, M. And the total cost is $1,906. So we've set up an equation, and we're going to solve it to find M, the number of months he's paying for this tractor. So I'm just going to go through and solve. I'm going to box in the M term, subtract 430 from both sides. We get 82m is equal to 1,476. And then divide both sides by 82 to get m by itself. And we get that m is equal to 18. So it'll be 18 m's, which are months. We've solved the problem. Standard EE4B is about inequalities. Let's start with the first problem. A hairstylist can work nine hours a day. A hair color takes one and a half hours and a haircut takes 20 minutes. If the stylist schedules three hair colors each day, which inequality represents the number of haircuts C that he can do? First notice that we have some time in hours and some in minutes. So I could convert them all to hours or all to minutes. I'm just gonna convert 20 minutes 
to one third of an hour. And we know that there's gonna be three hair colors that take one and a half hours each. So I could say three times one and a half plus one third of an hour times C number of haircuts. And we know there's nine hours that the hairstylist is available to work. So this amount of time should be less than nine hours or could be equal to nine hours, but it can't go over. So now I'm just gonna simplify this a little bit. Three times one and a half is four and a half, 4.5 or nine halves. Bring everything else down. And I notice it matches up with answer choice D. It's just got the terms swapped in order and four and a half and nine halves are equivalent. Let's look at number four. We're gonna add a little note to the side just to jog your memory. When we're talking about inequalities, if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, flip the sign or flip the symbol talking about the inequality symbol so they work like adding or they work with uh, work like solving equations except for that one extra little step sometimes it's multiply or divide both sides by a negative so you flip your inequality symbol well, let's look at number four there's a couple ways to do this I'm going to actually solve the inequality you could Test each of the numbers to see if they are a part of the solution as well. So I want to get this term negative one third f by itself, so I'm going to add five to both sides. We get negative one third f is less than or equal to negative two. Now to get rid of that negative one third, I could divide both sides by negative one third, but that is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal negative three. So negative one third times negative three cancels out and we just get F. Negative two times negative three is six. And since we multiplied both sides by this negative, our symbol, which was less than or equal to, flips to greater than or equal to. So this is our solution set. Anything that's greater than or equal to six. So six and eight are both correct. Number six, a restaurant hires a laundromat to clean its tablecloths. The cost is $3.75 per load plus $12.25 for delivery. If the restaurant's weekly budget is $85 a week, how many loads X can the restaurant have cleaned? Okay, so I noticed there's a repeating amount, $3.75 for every load, X, plus a delivery of $12.25, so that's a one-time amount, and the budget's $85, so they need to spend less than, or they could spend exactly $85, but can't go over. So we've set up an equation, an equality, rather. Let's solve this two-step inequality. We're going to subtract $12.25 from both sides. We get $3.75 times X is less than or equal to $72.75. And then divide both sides by $3.75 to find out the number of loads of laundry. We get 19.4. And we gotta think about what that means. So they can spend less, or they can get less than or equal to 19.4 loads of laundry. Well, you can't get part of a load like that. So it's gonna be 19 loads. Even if this had been 19.999, you can't round up to 20 because there's not enough money for it. So it can, they can clean 19 loads for the money they have. 